Well, we'll win in a drag race between a Bugatti Chiron Supersport, which has 1600 horsepower, and a Lamborghini Huracan that has been tuned to 1600 horsepower. Oh, and a WRX racing car, because we can. Anyway, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car wow. Now let me tell you about this Bugatti. It has an 8-litre quad-turbo 16-cylinder that puts out 1,600 horsepower and 1,600 newton-metres of torque. It's got a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox with launch control and four-wheel drive, thank goodness. Now it's quite heavy, really, despite all the lovely carbon fibre. You see it weighs in at 1,995 kilos. It's also very expensive, partly because of the lovely carbon fibre, but also the lovely leather in fact it feels absolutely gorgeous in here it's a luxury car but also a mental performance car as well and that's why with taxes this thing is worth four million pounds so i've got to say a huge thanks to the lee collection in perth australia for lending us this car i don't know why it's over here for some reason it just is but i'm very happy that it is and a huge thanks to the owner thank you lawrence for lending us this car Anyhow, if you want to find out more about the Lee Collection, check out their socials. There's a link in the description. Make sure you go and follow them and give them a big thank you, right? Because it'll help us get more costs from them in future. Anyway, let's find out about that Lamborghini from its driver. Hello, Samuel. Hello, Matt. How are you? Well, I'm sat in an astounding car. So tell me about yours. See if you can impress me. It's going to be hard because this is amazing. Your car is pretty special. I'm a bit dumbfounded. It's like having a celebrity on set, isn't it? I mean, not as much as celebrity as you are, but almost as celebritized as you. So I'm in a Lamborghini Huracan, it's one of JM Imports, Jurgen Specials. So this is a 5.2 litre V10, but it's a twin turbo. It can run up to 1800 horsepower, but Jurgen informs me we're running 1600 horsepower, but that's 1400 at the wheels. Seven speed dual clutch gearbox, weighs about 1650 kilos, and it costs about 300 grand. That's considerably cheaper than my Bugatti. Well, I say mine, it's not mine obviously couldn't hope to ever be able to afford one of these let's move over to the racing car which seems like a bit of an anomaly here but i know it launches really well we've got ollie bennett so ollie tell us about your wrx mini yeah hi matt so actually this car is the rarest here it's the only one in the world we built this ourselves it is a 600 horsepower all-wheel drive 1000 newton meters of torque um i think i'll keep up with you guys especially off the line as you said but as we get more towards the end we will see but yeah i'm up for a challenge Okay, Ollie, well, we'll see how it plays out. This is going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. Now, before we get into it, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed to CarWow, all right? We've got some really cool races coming up. They're going to blow your mind, okay? So make sure you're subscribed right now and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss what we've got coming out. Now, before we actually race, let's do the customary CarWow sound check. So I am going to rev up this engine. Sounds all right, but it's got a soft limiter at 4,000 RPM. Boo. Come and listen to your Lambo. How special does that sound? Yeah, you won that so far. Um, Ollie though, let's have a listen to your little four cylinder. That's pretty good. I think the Bugatti loses this one, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully you can win the next thing, which is the most important one, isn't it? The drag race. Let's get our helmets on. Before we do that though, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it the easy way through CarWow, right? So simple. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on it in an online auction and they'll come to your house, set the car away and put the money into your account. It is so, so easy. You don't have to mess around with tire kickers or anything like that. Now, if you want to do that now, check out the service, then click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below. If you want to use it at a later date or your friends or family do, just simply Google help me car wow and we will help you sell your car the easy way. Right, now I'm going to get my helmet on. Sounds rude, doesn't it? It's always on, but it's, anyhow, let's do it. So sideways off the line there. Mm. 
That was the weirdest drag race ever. Got an awful launch, went sideways off the line. First of all, Sam. I thought you were going to win that, but something must have happened to your car. Because I just then hauled past you, despite the fact that I went so sideways off the line. So that was sketchy. What, what happened to you? So I, I had my own moment off the line. This thing has got so much power. Um, but Jurgen was explaining that it's having a GPS issue. So when it loses GPS signal, it's, it's such a clever car, this. It just, the engine goes into a safety mode. So just before the quarter mile, it cut my power. And uh, that's when you came past. But this was long gone. Yeah, you would have absolutely smashed me if it hadn't done that. How about you, Ollie? How was that for you? Ollie's had to get out of his car because it's so noisy and he can't hear us. Yeah, I had a great launch off the line there, really hooked up and then I was off. I think you guys gained on me halfway with a bit of tracking and a bit of drag. It's not the most aerodynamic vehicle when I'm down a horsepower, but the initial launch is brilliant. I think it would be close. I'm not sure who won that, really. I'd like to think it was the Bugatti, but sort of by default because the Lambo <laughs> went to with its funny GPS stability control system. Do you reckon it's worth you having another go, Sam? Yeah, absolutely. I did a practice run earlier on and it was mega. So let's go see the Dr. Jurgen and see if he can get this sorted for us. And then I want to go pull both your pants down, I think. OK, let's do it. God, that rally cross car is good. Rallycross car absolutely nails it off the line. This hooked up much better. Hey Sam, it didn't work again mate. It didn't work, did it? I saw you go, it was quite close, and then your car cut, didn't it? Yeah, it's, a, it's this clever GPS system that's not being so clever at the minute. It just cuts my power, which is really frustrating because that was actually a better launch. I'm really gutted about it because this had a good, good launch. That really hooked up so beautifully then. But Ollie, you beat me off the line. Yeah, I did, man. I had a good jump on the line there. It just hooks up so well on this sort of concrete asphalt. And I was off. To be fair, I thought I was going to have you, but this actually runs out of steam at 120. I'm out of RPM then, so I'm stuck at 120. I think that's worse when you fly past me. Yeah, I'm coming past at about 150 or something ridiculous because this is so quick. I'm going to give him one last go. I'm not gonna lie, I had an awesome launch. But it wasn't awesome enough, was it? No, and what's really gonna break your heart, I had a terrible launch. This just bogged, but then kaboom. How about you though, Ollie? How was your launch? I had a great launch again. I was like, I've done these boys off the line here, but I knew halfway down, you just shot past me. Well, there you go. I think we'll call it there. Let's find out the times. So then what exactly happened? Well. The Lamborghini won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 9.4 seconds. The Bugatti took 9.5 seconds and the Mini was last, crossing the line in 10.4 seconds. Now we're going to do a rolling race from around 40 miles an hour in second gear. When the starter starts us, we will go. It's just gone. Now this thing is insanely quick, but... I'm going past it now. Ah, uh, is that a problem again? Okay, Sam, the way your car took off was incredibly impressive, but the way it slowed down again afterwards, because you probably had a, an issue again, was less impressive. 
I think I've broke my neck. In the stunt world, I need an adjustment for that much injury. Yeah, I just, uh, it lost GPS, so it saves itself with the ECU and it just cuts power. So that's a shame really, because that was a whitewash, wasn't it? Literally, in the car. <laughs> I don't understand it. What's GPS got to do with anything? Oh, I don't know. Jürgen's really smart and I, I feel stupid talking to him. So when he tells me about the GPS issue, I'm just nodding and saying, okay, yeah, I understand. I have no idea, but it obviously does something really important. Do you know what we're going to do in a moment? I'm going to drive down and have a word with Jürgen about it and find out exactly what's going on. It should be all right to do a brake test though, but before then, let's have a little chat with Ollie. Ollie, your car shot off. What gear were you in? In second? Yeah, it shot off. I was in third gear and as he was putting his hands up, I was turning the ALS on, which this car has, and then yeah, foot to the floor. I jumped the gun, I was like, hey, up, I've got Matt here again. And then, yeah, I just top eight at 120. I'm on the red line. I just have to cruise to the finish then. Uh, okay, so your anti-lag just shot you off the line beautifully once he did the count in. You were gone and, and then we're beaten because of your 120 mile an hour limiter. Well, thankfully we'll do the brake test from 100 miles an hour so you, you can maintain that speed. Okay, let's do it then. Let's find out um, which car stops in the shortest distance. I think Ollie might win this one. No way. Hey Sam, do you want to swap cars just for a bit of fun? Absolutely. A few moments later. Oops. Oops. It's all falling apart in here. Jürgen, what are you doing to your car, mate? What's in here? Clubland CD2. Look, Jürgen's favourite music. Didn't know this had a CD player. Shouldn't Ollie be in the middle? Why don't you tell Ollie the rules? I'm going to have a little drive with this up there. So we'll go on this. You okay, Ollie? Are you stopping to start? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jürgen, please can you explain to me what this GPS nonsense is? The GPS is, uh, does a vehicle speed with a Cybex ECU and unfortunately we've found our GPS unit is actually cracked on the top so it's been playing up so now we know exactly what's been doing. So, so the GPS is cracked on the top? Yeah so it's actually on top of the roof on the left hand side and it's actually got a little crack on it so it's been playing up and losing GPS signal so it's been cutting the power of the car. Oh! So yeah so I don't know who's cracked it but somebody's cracked it. Someone's cracked it somehow or other. But yeah, so, so rather than using the speedo from the car to know how quick it's going for the ESC it uses a separate system. Correct, yeah, GPS. So that seems like a stupid idea. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it helps to get basically with a car this kind of power, put the power down properly with vehicle speed. Really? Yeah, really good, yeah. So as you've seen before, when I went out, I don't know if you've seen it, I took the GPS off and the car wasn't straight. It was just going all over the place, yeah. okay. Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car which stops at the shortest distance wins. I reach the line, put emergency stop. Let's do this. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with the Bugatti, click on the pop out banner up there or the link in the description below. If not, stay for some braking and Shioni. I would say that it looked like your front wheels had locked up, Sam, in the Bugatti. No, they were just hopping up and down. It's quite a stiff car, this, so it was just bouncing, so the ABS was working its nuts off, so to speak. I would also say that I just about beat you in the Lamborghini. Yeah, you're one ton lighter than me, but well done. Take your applause. But I would say also that Ollie clearly won. And <laughs> look at the attitude of his car, that is really funny. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely won, man, but I've got no ABS, so that was all my uh, left foot trying to keep it straight, but I got it stopped in the end. You know, you're here to compete, and you won, even though it looks a bit out of shape. You might need to buy yourself some new front tires though, I think after that. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Huge thank you to Ollie for the link in the description for his socials. Huge thanks to Lawrence and the Lee Collection for the link in the description for their socials. Make sure you go and follow and comment and everything because it really helps us get these cars again. And thanks to Racing Drive for Sam for taking part and Jürgen for letting us mess around with his crazy tuned Lamborghini, which is just mentally quick. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch more videos, click on those windows. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to check out how these cars quarter mile times compared to everything else we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching.